What is up you guys, my name is RVZ and welcome to City Trainer, Becoming a Witcher. Um, chapter 2, Wintering? Yeah, this is a Witcher parody game, um, a lewd one apparently, that the developers contacted me to play. Um, I should have played this uh, a long time ago, but anyway, uh, I guess we train Siri, maybe? City Trainer was not endorsed by CD, okay, alright. I know, it's a parody, relax. Oh, it's Siri. Howdy. You can skip uh, intro if you want, it won't affect the story, but you won't see the part I play into it, so think twice. Um, don't skip, I wanna see what's going on. Let's get started then. Kaid Ka when? Uh, 1267. Okay. After so many days traveling through the trenchless ravines and wild forests, the old uh, keep appeared before me. It is the least secured of Caden borders, and uh, for a good reason. No villages nor travelers for miles, only mountains and occasionally wild goats. I learned about this castle existence from old maps back to when witchers were more numerous and popular. It's been abandoned for a while, but it should be a good place to rest and restock my supplies. Man, my feet are killing me. I'm too old for such travelers, uh, travels, I mean. Uh, look at the castle. Uh, from here, uh, I can tell the castle is in ruins. I, I wonder if it's still uh, warm enough to survive winter. Look around. I took a look at the valley one more time. Abandoned buildings, uh, deep ravines and dense forests. The time of its greatness is long gone. Oh, there is a river nearby. I can finally wash away the dust of the road. Yeah, keep going, yeah. Hopefully I won't have to sleep on the cold ground again tonight. They must uh, have some beds inside. Oh, we're going to the castle, okay, alright. A huge opening in the gates invite uh, anyone to enter. It's not as if many people would dare to explore these old ruins. Nasty creatures love setting their lairs in such places. It's not really an evil lair, it's just sender, it's fine. Oh. The door to the courtyard is locked. Not good. It's getting dark already. I don't have time to look for a key. Guess I'll just force my way here myself in. Okay, then lock the door. Yes, let's get started. Focusing on my forefinger, it begins to lose its color. Matter melts beneath my gaze, taking the shape of a metal pin. Sliding into the lock, the metal pin transmutes into a perfectly suitable key. There we go. The door opens before me as my finger reverts to its original form. I enter the old castle. Oh, here we are. Okay, alright. After some searching, I found a relatively intact room. And a bed. Ooh, finally some good news. Alright. What do I do with the bed? Oh, there's a book. Why is there a book? I'm too tired right now and I'm so rest, huh? I need some rest, fucking get some rest, man, I'm fucking off. Uh, I'll think about what to do next tomorrow. As of now, I only need to rest. Or rest, I guess. I woke up at first light. I feel so much better already. I wonder if there's any food in here, or some wine, or some vodka. No, the vodka is... Uh, <clears throat> okay, there, there must be some supplies stored uh, somewhere around uh, such a big castle. We're just gonna look around for the castle. There's a map inside. Interesting. It's a castle map. Let's see. There's a storage room on the ground floor. There should be some food in there. A few gold coins. This might be useful in a city, but I can spend them around here. Locked. And the lock is silver plated. I can't unlock it without the key. Nice, I can cook something in here. I just need to find some food. Alright then, let's go downstairs, I don't fucking know. I'll check the storage room. Could be something down there. Just as I expected, the castle is abandoned. Dust and garbage everywhere. Luckily, they got plenty of dried meat and salt there. Oh yeah, they... Witcher used to have a lot of dried meat. <laughs> I guess. They were, they were always uh, eating for some reason at the castle. There's always food. Witchers are always hungry, you know. Uh, 
So, not the day healthiest of diets, I who cares about the diet, it's fine. But I can take some with me. I won't even need to hunt for the rest of the trip. I try to bite off a piece of meat. Ouch, it's as hard as a rock. Mm, that won't do, I can't afford wasting energy on regrowing teeth, I need to cook it. Right, so... I need some water to cook the meat. Oh my god, we need to go downstairs, I really don't want to go the, to the river, this is pretty far, maybe there is something closer to the castle? Right, let's check the map I guess. Ah, there's a well in the courtyard, just what I needed. So I check the map and I go downstairs, I'll bring some water. It's evening, okay. Took me some time to find an intact bucket, but at least I got everything I need now. Better start cooking, I'm starving. I don't cook very often, but boiling some meat shouldn't be too difficult, right? Ah, it's night, okay, right. That was harder than expected, I think I overboiled it. How the fuck does it turn evening into night just from cooking some meat, god damn. I'm not too hungry to be picky about it. Without enthusiasm, I ate the overcooked, mostly tasteless strips of meat. That was terrible. And it's dark outside already, I've spent the whole day on chores. But now, I know where to find food, so tomorrow should be more productive, happier, fitter, more productive. Yes, what a day. I'm almost uh, as tired as yesterday. I need to take it easy tomorrow. Uh, I should probably search the room, there should be something of use. Something of use? What is that? What is there something of use? The coins? Maybe I should take this gold with me. Seems like no one is living here anymore and I could use some. Yeah, take the fucking gold, I don't know. Yeah, probably a good idea, maybe, who knows. I shook out the remaining coins, not much, but that will do. Right. So I'll go, I need to search the room. Before. There's nothing in the room, what the fuck? The, the castle is heavily damaged, most of the areas are completely inaccessible, even to me. Weird. Oh, there's a letter? Let's see. Sorry, Vazimir. I've met my surprised child again, and she has nowhere to go. I have my hands full with contracts and Tris's boobs. What the fuck, you yo, Geralt, what? <laughs> Of course, yes. Triss, Triss is uh, Triss is good, yeah. But uh, calm down, calm down. So I'm sending her to you for now. She wants to be a good witcher, so feel free to train her. I'll send you some money later. Should I manage to make any, girl? All right. So have fun with Triss, I guess. Uh, the law of surprise? Eh? I heard about it. It's an old uh, human habit. A man who got uh, rescued is expected to offer a reward whose nature is unknown to either him, his savior, or both of them. I can stop thinking about the... What? I can stop thinking of hilarious rewards. A front door, a burglar, a bill left by a creditor, a tax collector. Then I realized something. The letter was recently written. I can still smell the ink. And it was opened. So someone was... here? Hoof's noise from the courtyard. Someone lives here indeed, and I'm sitting in their living room. Oh no. I don't need another fight, not now, oh no. I must hide somewhere. Uh, in the fireplace. Uh, no, this will do... <laughs> I should turn into some fireproof. But it won't go unnoticed. Although, I should put the fire out anyway. Okay. Where are we going? Where are we going to... Uh, the closet is... We can't crap, I can't get past the lock, I don't have a key. Under the bed, I guess? Hiding under the bed? No, this is stupid, it's too obvious. Uh, let's check the map. There must be a dark corner somewhere in this castle, where no one would ever find me. I don't have time to look for it. Uh, what do we do then? What the fuck? Uh, uh, it's bent... Uh, whatever, whatever, whatever. Door? I can hear someone climbing the stairs. It's too late for me to leave the room. Book? I don't have time for reading right now. What am... There's nothing I can do here. There's a hole. What the fuck? Great. I couldn't find a better place. Nani? How are... How are you going to... To fit through that tiny hole? What the fuck? What's... 
How tall are you? What? Oh, you can transform. Okay. Hearing uh, heavily footsteps near the door, I quickly transformed into something halfway a mouse and a snake and clumsily crawled inside the wall crack. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, Vazimir. Home sweet home. Uh, I don't like how the history on the wall uh, titled uh, The Last Winter. Guess some repairs are in order as soon as everyone is back for winter. And uh, I wonder who forgot to lock the gates again. That was the very first time I've seen the old Whitler. One glance was enough to figure out how old he is. Not even old, ancient, more likely. Ancient and massive. I don't think I can generate enough mass to match his weight. Let's see. Oh, oh yeah. Huh? He began reading and sorting out letters on the desk. Looks like I'm safe for now. Witchers are masters at hunting down magical creatures, but our powers leave no traces whatsoever. This contract pays good money, and we could use good money for repairs. Village is not that far. I should be back in two or three days. So Vazimir is leaving. Okay. Uh, he left the room, but it took a few hours before I finally dared coming out of my hideout and regain a humanoid form again. There goes the plan for the rest of the few days after crossing the board. I can't really stay here while that witcher is around. They may not kill me on the spot, but I doubt I'll be welcome to stay either. I should really leave. Suddenly, I notice a piece of paper clumped in my hand. I hit myself together with the letter. Oh. He didn't notice the letter. So, when the child mentioned in the letter arrives, there will be no one around to meet her. No matter how I look at it, it's my fault. Damn. I'll have to stay to make sure she's alright. For at least a few days, you know. For at least a few days, you know. I guess we'll, we'll meet up with uh, Siri? Where is she? Searching for the map, this castle used to be pretty messy. Okay, Sivin, what do we do? We should be back in a few days. I can take, I can rest and take care of the child in the meantime. So we go rest. I need to come up with some story for the kids, something not too suspicious. And masking my true self would be a good start too. I borrowed my current mask from one of the bandits who tried to rob me a few days ago, near a Kaidian border. It was an excellent disguise to keep any beggars and farmers, but. It's absolutely not suitable for interacting with a child. The guy never shaved in his life, not to mention his countless scars, memories of many raids. I close my eyes and focus on the old witcher. I've seen him only once, but it's enough already. My whole body melted like a candle, swifting, shaping into a new form, a perfect copy of the original, in the smallest of details. As I opened my eyes, I turned into him. Not even magic could spot the difference between us now. The name arose in my mind. Vasimir. Uh, cough. <laughs> what? I cleared my throat, turning my new voice. Ah, uh, much better. If I play it right, no one will ever recognize that I was even here. Sun is setting down. Time for dinner. As time passes, some memories of the original become available to us Dopplers. Always vague and blurry, they somehow help with keeping the masquerade up. That room starts feeling familiar, as I lived here for many years. Anyway, I should try to sleep. Okay, so this is a long intro, but I guess uh, we are gonna train Siri. <laughs> Hello, is anybody there? I woke up to a sound of... A ringing voice. Uh, is it morning already? I didn't sleep well. I'm coming in, okay? Alright, time to get up. Hello? The, the voice sounded closer. By the time footsteps finally reached my floor and door was open without the knocking, I was ready. Is anybody in? Ooh. Oh, hi, I'm Cyrilla. Uh, first female witcher in the world, They're nice to meet you. The, for, for, the, uh, oh, oh, hello, Cyrilla. <clears throat> yes, I'm Vesemir. Keeper of this castle and the oldest of witchers. Vasimir's memories grew stronger, suggesting the right answers. At least I hope they truly are right. Vasimir? Carol told lots about you. 
You trained all witchers. I fumbled and freshly acquired memories indeed. My original used to be fencing instructor many years ago. This is true. I've been told that you want to... Yes, I want to train as a witcher. Sure, but... And I want to learn everything <laughs> from you. What? Holy sh... Ooh, I'm afraid that should wait for you to be older. Hold on, hold on. What are we implying here? What the hell? What? I'm old enough. Yes, much older. At least 18. <laughs> Boo! That's four more years! I wanna train! Now! Wait, she's 14? She's not 18? Okay, she's 14, guys! She's 14! Everything's fine, okay, we'll take good care. Oh, there's, uh, there is much for you to learn in the meantime. How about we find a room for you? My own room? Cool! Gosh, she... she's a lively type, isn't she? I probably shouldn't uh, have promised to train her. It's not for me to decide. Oh well. What's done is done, I guess. Uh, hey, where are you? I'm coming. I thought there was a decent room on the other floor. Uh, it took a few hours to settle her in. Not much time, but it was enough to notice something. A magical gift, still hiding and unnoticeable to most, was about to bloom. I think she can become a talented mage. If properly taught. Uh, Uncle Vazimir, let's start my training. Uncle? Right, you're training. To be honest, I had no idea how witchers train their recruits. I suppose it involves melee training, but isn't she too young for that? How about uh, you clean your room first? It hasn't been used for a long time, it's pretty dusty. What? No, I came here to become a witcher, not a maid. Uh, yeah, go clean your room, fuck you. <laughs> Alright, she clearly needs a firm hand. I am your mentor, young lady. You should do as I say. Or I won't be training you. Ah, fine. Perhaps I should help her. I can't expect the child to clean such a big room on her hand, on her own, right, rather. It took a few hours to tidy up her room and get rid of all spiders. Uncle Vesemir, I'm tired, but witchers are supposed to be strong and tough. You need to train yourself, young lady. As of now, should you ever lift a sword, you won't be making a single swing. I understand. I'll do my best to train and become a witcher. Right. You can go rest in your room for now. I'll summon you if needed. Okay. I spent one day with this little brat and I already missed the mountain roads. Poor Vesemir. I don't envy him one bit. That's it? That, that, that's it? I could use some rest too. Unfortunately, my sleep, my sleep was absolutely interrupted. What the fu- What is it, Cerulea? It's pretty late. You should be in your bed by now. Uncle Vesemir, could you tell me a bad story? A bedtime story? Please? <laughs> Fucking god. It's fucking Brad, we're gonna tell her a story, alright? Fine, I'm not good at this, but I'll give it a shot, I, you know. What do you want to hear? Mmm, Gerald used to tell, tell me stories about his adventurers, but you are older than him. You must have some stories about monsters and magic and treasures, and uh, I'm not sure my original has uh, such stories to tell. Working with borrowed memories is never easy. Sure, I got a story for you. Yay! Long time ago. And very far from here, there was a magical place where a mere wish came true. Well, people never starved there because food appeared before them when they were hungry. They didn't need to, let's say, buy clothes because new clothes appeared as soon as they needed some. Oh wow! And what if someone wanted a sword? Then he got the sword. They had everything they wanted, and possibly more. Not uh, only the place itself was magical, even the people could transform them themselves when they wanted to. Many of them used this ability to stay forever young. Others rejected human form and aimed at perfection. Perfection? Uh... Shh, oh, but 
One day, a cataclysm happened. The so-called conjunction of the spheres. Ever heard about it? I think so. Other worlds hit us? And monsters from those worlds fell down and remained here? Ah, uh, yes, pretty much. After the conjunction, people from that wonderful world found themselves here, infinitely distant from their own world. Unable to manipulate reality anymore, many of them couldn't survive the new world. As for the others, the only way to survive was to adapt. They still could change their appearance, and so they did. They joined animals, societies, and such as wolf packs. Then, when humans and elves spawned all over the continent, some of them joined either one or the other race. Some wanted to remain wolves? Simply lost their humanity over time. A beast mind is simple, it doesn't need detailed memories or advanced skills. As for those who managed to discard their beast form, witchers call them Dopplers. Oh, so this is my very first lesson about monsters. Indeed, silver is one of their weakness. It reverts them to their true form. I see, so if I, I just need to stab them with my silver sword. No, no. Dopplers are usually peaceful and harmless, tending to avoid any conflict. Oh. But there is another group those who manage to survive without turning into animals. But conjunction happened a long time ago. It's conjunction. Uh, yes. They don't get older as humans do. Of course, most of them didn't make it. But those who did, they managed to keep their memory, intelligence and transformation skills intact. Witchers don't have a name for them, because not a single one was ever captured by humans. Really? Why? For many reasons. For instance, silver is far less effective against them. Mm, so, if they were never captured, how would you know all of this? Oh, I have a friend among them. He has a friend. Uh, really, what's his name? His name is uh, John Cena. <laughs> oh god. You guys know, you guys know it's gotta, it's gotta be... His name was Dickens, yes. <laughs> this is the tale of Dickens. Alright, let's go. Yeah. Let's go. His name is, is Dickens, yeah. And, well, it's pretty late already. You should uh, really go to bed. Okay, I will. Thanks, Uncle, Uncle Vasimir. I could use some sleep too. Uncle Vasimir? Oh, he's sleeping already. Huh? What's this? A medallion? Eh, I think you wouldn't mind if I borrowed it. No need the fuck. I need to leave tonight, no matter what. Staying here any longer is too risky. Uncle Vasimir? Oh boy, what well now? Look what I crafted. It's two dolls. This one resembles you, I think. And the other one is you, silly. I put them here, okay? Uh, she put the two dolls on the desk. It's a gift, hehe. <laughs> oh, the boobs are buttons. Okay, alright, fine. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, anyway, before I forget, I need to explain what's going on. Uh, in here to the real Vesemir. I'll write another letter. Let's see. Old fart. <laughs> no. Yo, Vesemir. We gotta be nice to Vesemir, you know. Hello, Vesemir. Yeah? I've met the child. I'm tired of this, but I've met the child. I've met my surprised child again. I have my hands full with contracts, so I'm sending her your way for now. Uh, focus on magic. Yeah, focus on magic. Uh, she wants to be a witcheress, uh, so we probably should uh, start training her. It's been a while since we had new blood, she seems to be interested in magic. So try to teach her at least basic things about it. And the last part? Good enough, I guess. I'll send some money later. I'd wish I could pay a visit, but I'm too busy fucking... <laughs> <laughs> fucking sorceress? <laughs> I can't be helped, oh god. I mean, if we find Triss, 
Oh boy, oh boy, okay, yeah, that's good enough, yes. Geralt, yeah. <laughs> that will do. Uh, I'll leave the letter on the desk. Goddamn, Geralt. Alright, I should warn the girl about my uh, departure. Uh, so go there. Call Siri. Siri, come here for a minute. Okay. What's up, uncle? I... wait. What's on your neck? That's a Hello Kitty thingy, what the fuck? Oh, it's my witress... Uh, witress... Uh, medallion. I made it myself. But the symbol of this school is a wolf? Boo, wolves are scary, I like my kitty. Uh, I heard the cat school accepts a woman. But maybe it's just a rumor? I like pussycats, pussy rules, you know? Uh, weird, I don't sense her magical gift anymore. Am I seeing things? Okay then, one more thing. I'm leaving tonight, I got uh, an urgent uh, contract to fulfill. Wait, what? Will I be left alone in here? Don't worry, I'll be back tomorrow. You'll be safe in the castle. Just don't leave it. Okay. Better yet, go to your room and lock the door until I call you. Deal? Deal. Okay, then until tomorrow. Well, time for me to leave. Hopefully everything will be okay here. Hm. I wonder, where did I put uh, my... the meridium the medallion? Siri fucking took it. God damn it. I left the castle before first light. I had a long trip ahead. Wait, did you take the medallion or did you leave it? Hmm, might it come back here, I think. I successfully crossed the board and eventually got to Ardu Carriot as planned. Ah, uh, you completed the intro, well done! The game saves your progress uh, between the chapters. Once you beat the chapter, uh, you can skip the, uh, it any time without losing progress. You can still use normal saves, but uh, those may fail to work over time and change its code, yes. Uh, worry not, though. As saves between uh, chapters will work no matter what. You have a hard save, press the continue button, then the game will automatically check if there are any saves between chapters. And ask you to pick one, and done! Your the intro progress is saved, see, it's that simple, see ya! So that was the intro, four years later. Hold on, hold on, that was a long intro, uh, I'm gonna, I, I wanted to get some action right away, but I guess we need to know what's going on with the intro, you know? So far the story of this game seems pretty well detailed, uh, and I'm liking it. Uh, I'll continue, of course, because I've only saw the intro, but uh, that's all the time I have for this episode right now. So anyway, gonna leave this episode here, let me know what you guys think about this game so far in the comment section below. If you actually enjoyed the video, give it a like, don't forget to subscribe if you're new, and as always, I hope to see you again.